good afternoon my YouTube friends it's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids and as you can see we've got a chilly one today and uh, will that come a little bit lighter so you can see it look at that and we've got uh, some rain on the way so uh, what have I brought you back for today um, I'll show you in a second let me just step down and uh, I made a, a remark yesterday on the Gatton um, then drub him Gatton Sunray and uh, I need to correct myself because uh, when uh, Michael responded to uh, uh, my video um, he, he did say that he thought it could be a flower inflorescent starting or it could be a cakey and um, so he'd mentioned both of those and I actually just commented back yesterday that Michael had said it was just a cakey. So um, apologies for that. I mean, uh, you know, we like to be factually correct. And and I wasn't yesterday. But um, today, I think I'm factually correct in saying that's going to be a cakey. Because there's the root there. And round the other side, there's another root as well, just forming. So... Uh, Michael's very good. He's he, he has a lot of knowledge and he, he tries to help me as best he can. So thank you again, Michael. And um, I'll put this back up on the other shelf in a minute. Now, why is it not focusing right? Let's get you focused again. There we go. And at the bottom here, I think we might. Can you just see that little speck of green? Now, whether that will develop anything this year, I have no idea. But in actual fact, um, I might just leave it on this front shelf here um, to get it to give it some more direct sunlight. I mean, I've got the Dendrobium thistiflorum there. Well, right, that's been there all summer, and I try and bring. Um, well, I brought the Cattleyas down as best as I can, and I've got all these little ones as well. And I do try and rotate things around if I can, just to give them this um, direct light, especially as um, the days are dull at the moment. And, uh, so, right, no more ado, we'll take you around this way and um, I'll show you the reason I brought you back today. And then, I'll take you slowly. I must cut that leaf out. And can you see it? There we go. Now is it going to focus? Correct. There. There she is in all her beauty. Look at that. Phalaenopsis violacea indigo blue. There she is, and um, she's got like a furry lip. And if we take it round there, there's the other part that's growing, the other inflorescence. And if we take it gently round the back. Uh, Those are the sepals. The sepals have got um, the tinges of green. I think they're the sepals. So there she is. By Alicia. Indigo blue. So that's the first of those um, I call um, summer flowering phalaenopsis to flower. And I've just got to wait now patiently for this one and get this one to focus and this one is um, to trespass purple but that inflorescence is going out to the side I might have to bring this one on um, if I gently just move around bring it over here so that it actually gets a little bit more light through 
through this uh, south facing window. And, uh, so I've not done anything in the grow room today. Well, to tell a lie, I've put the uh, the radius falcata. This is how it gets dumped in the uh, in the water trough. And it sits there for several hours. And of course that's that lovely phalaenopsis. And that's in inorganic media. So I must really come up and water these today, but you know, Keith's busy downstairs. Well I've been busy downstairs. He's been cleaning one of the freezers out. And uh, I tell you, it's that chilly out here. I can't believe it. We're going down to 70 degrees tonight. It's that 7C. <laughs> I've got the Dendrobium delicatum outside, but I can't leave it out there tonight. It'll be too too chilly for it. So, so that's it. Now I've brought you in to just see this beautiful um, bloom on this uh, Palinopsis violacea indigo bloom. And I'm going to take my leave of you now. It's one o'clock. Enjoy your bank holiday weekend, however you intend to spend it. And if you're in England, of course, you'll have to be wrapped up. But that's our English summer. One minute we're red hot, the next minute we're thrown into autumn. But what can you do about it? I've just sneaked out into the garden just to quickly show you uh, how everything is and uh, you might get some distortion with the wind but I can't do anything about that but I tell you it's really chilly out here and there's the um, cranium, crinum lilies yeah, looking worse for wear aren't they but there we go you see the fuchsias with all that rain, there's me worried, thinking they're all going to be finished with the time we get home. But we've still got plenty of blooms. And look at this. Look at the begonias. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It can be a lovely time of the year um, if it wasn't so chilly. Look at this one. Look, masses. So the begonias probably prefer it um, a little bit cooler. And so we've got that trough full there. And then we come to the end of that big trough, and they're the red ones. So I've only got a short sleeve jumper on out here, and I tell you, it's that darn chilly. I haven't been out really to uh, deadhead. You can see, look at the petunias there. They all want deadheading. And here's this one here. Now we'll go into the corner so you might have a little bit of distortion with the, uh, with the wind on this corner. And if you take it this way, you see there, those are the signs of autumn now. The deepening of the colours of the aces. Oh, let me just back up. Back up for you. Oh, look at that one. A nice gladioli. And down there, I don't know whether you'll see it or whether it'll stay put while I just go down to film it. But just having a rest. A butterfly. So I won't disturb it. But I'll take you around this way now. And this one I feel like Jack and the Beanstalk because look how high this is. Can you see? Excuse the traffic. Huge big sunflower. This is a slightly different one. 
so and the sedum or sedum whichever way you want to say it that's already starting to pink I love the, the autumn colours and if we carry on round here now I do apologise about the, the breeze but let's take you round while I can Some of these shrubs are still in bloom. And there we go. I do like the way this uh, huge, is it a salix? Blends nicely with this acer. There. It's quite dark here, doesn't it? See if I can bring a little bit of light on. There we go, that's better. I was going to say it looks really dark. And I don't know why. These sunflowers here, you see. There we go. I've done these from seed. And that one there. Whether you'll see that. It's got a visitor. I love these. These always have flies on them. Don't ask me why, but they love the flies. That's children. So let's go this way around and see what we can find here. This area, that hanging basket still survives. Oh, I think there's World War Three going on next door. <laughs> the joys of having children. Evening primrose, can you see them? I've got to come out and deadhead those. And if we go around here, some of the Michaelmas daisies. There we go. They're in bloom. And look down there. I always forget what these are called. They, they come in little combs, don't they? And uh, you can get them indoors or outdoors. Just tuck down there. Some more sedum in this area. Oh, yeah, we've got another one of these. Look at this. This one must have fallen down at some point and uh, pulled it out onto here because it had got a huge, great big slug attached to it. Massive, slimy. Oh, I hate them. There we go. Look at the nice colours. Love this time of year, especially when the sun shines. When it doesn't shine, it's darn chilly, I tell you. And there's the Acer. This is the big Acer. Now, if I step back now. see the autumn colours coming and you see how the, the leaves are changing. I'm going to take you around here now, back the way we come. Please be the inside still cleaning the freezer. There we go, there's another one. I call them pineapple plants. Now whether they are, I have no idea. There. 
lots of bees and flies and oh dear something fell down there hmm that's a daily but the slugs have had that oh dear never mind let me bring you to this area this is just outside the back door and that's a cacosmia there a different one and this one's a yellow one Again, you see we've got plenty of visitors, plenty of bees coming and visiting us, and that's some cosmos. There we are, some cosmos here, and let's just pan round to see whether or not uh, We've got any more Michaelmas daisies? That's the uh, oh, what is it? It's not a rhododendron, azalea. Look at the new growth I've put it into a bigger pot, and look at the new growth that's got on it. So this is this area now, and this is one of the big humongous um, Michaelmas daisies and um, just look because we've had these winds uh, it's blown it forward oh, look at that a second flush of these roses and that's uh, a camellia sat in its buds So we could do with really getting out into the garden, but it's just too cold. And if I bring you back round this area, I can't get past there unfortunately because uh, of that one. You can hear Katie's <laughs> show you in a minute. <laughs> oh dear. There we are, that's one of those nice grasses, can you see? Bring a little bit more light for you. That's too much. Sorry about that. <laughs> he keeps opening the back door. I'm watching in a minute. He won't let me film him. He's not shy, he just doesn't like being on camera. Oh Luke. That's a sure sign. Osters, they're going over now. Look at that. And that daily is going over as well. out. <laughs> oh dear. I can smell the bread in the bread maker. There we go, those are Cosmos, different ones. That's that sunflower developing very nicely. And uh, I'm going to turn you around now. Turn you back this way. I just want to show you this because uh, look, that's a primula. Those that are took out and split, and that one's decided to flower. So there we go. We've come full circle. Right, I'll take you out to the front garden. Did I tell you we've got the central heating on? It's that cold. Right. Let's have a look out here. And then... We might have a car or two pass us. There you see. There are the grasses. And there's the ginger lily. In a pot just there. The 
These are the wallflowers that I put in before I went away. They're growing very nice. This is a second flush on the broom. Here we come to this area now. And we've got one clematis in flower. barrel there with it's been flowering all summer with last year's blooms in and here oh there's the dendrobium delicatum this just loves it it's got lots of roots coming out poking over the side of the pot this is out here today and uh, there's a the succulent there I've cleared this area before we went away Planted this one and uh, into the ground rather than being in a pot. And this is the mock orange, the little white one. This is on its second flush. Then we'll take you over here. This is the Japanese anemone, a gladioli there, that's been blown about a bit. Some more sedum, and the wind's getting up. Oh dear, and this is south facing and I tell you, it is so chilly out here. It really is. This is the sedum that I love. This is the darker one. I think this one might be called a ruby or something like that. But I absolutely love this one. And if we take you around to this area, that's a penstemon, still in flower. Some of the sweet williams, still in flower. I've got a, this all this spare soil you can see here. I've got to bring all those primulas out, but of course we're going away. That's scabious. I've not been able to do that. So there will be jobs to do. And if we just turn around here, there, we've got a fuchsia tucked in there. There we go. Right. So we better go in now. Right, so we're inside now. Oh, tell you. Uh, and this is the Hoya Canosa tricolour. And you can see how it's growing now. It likes this little spot here. There we go. The nice, bright, different colours. There we go, and our little cabinet here and these are some oh I better take the light down because we're going to we're on the windowsill area and what are these big ones called they come up each year I have to uh, there are tuber block seniors the block seniors that block seniors doing lovely some of the uh, African violets The little Axel. This is the uh, Desert Rose and it lost all its blooms. So now I've come back home. I've cut them off and maybe that will be it this year with those blooms. That's another Gloxinia. They're all, they're all potted about, the Gloxinias. I've got some in the other room and if I take the light down, there we go. There's the outside. So I can stand in here and look outside, enjoy the outside, even though it's very chilly. And I'll take you down to this one and then I might finish here. Let's bring it up a little bit lighter. Oh, there we go. I always forget what this one's called. And 
and you can excuse what you're going to see on the table we'll finish off here so from me to you take care bye bye now